Three days, Dan. The robot in three days is done. We made it. First, we got to thank some people, though. Yeah, we want to thank all of our sponsors for making this happen. We've got Andy Mark, IR3 Creative, Cross the Road Electronics, Two Pencils Design, Stream Monkey, and 221 Robotic Systems. We also got to thank the teams. 4013, they gave us Frisbees right after the kickoff. And of course, Exploding Bacon 1902. They brought us cookies, two Frisbees, and they gave us this field to help us test today. We also got to thank Mike Walker, the man behind the camera. He's been helping, along with all the people who came out, brought us food, helped us, and all the support you guys gave us in the chat. It's been awesome. So now let's go ahead and take a technical look at the robot. A robot. A robot. A robot. A robot. Wee! Wee! So on our robot, we first got our sheet metal hopper. It feeds down, the structure feeds down to our Frisbee indexer mounted on flex hubs, driven by a PG uh, gearbox from Andy Mark, all on the Modulox channel. You've got the shooter next. It's featuring Modulox rails, two sim motors with Modulox gearboxes, two big Andy Mark pneumatic wheels. the hood of this bad boy, we've got um, Modulox channel drivetrain with Andy Mark wheels, uh, high traction, all mounted to flex hubs. And then of course the lifting mechanism, the one you're all waiting to see using another Modulox gearbox with a PG motor powering a winch with some custom hooks. And controlling this beast is a full cross-the-road electronics control system featuring the Talon speed controllers and the Canopy robot control module. Days. We made it, Dan. Yeah, I can't believe it. It's been one of the best times of our lives, and hopefully we've inspired you to do more. Yeah, I think you guys have five weeks so you can take what we learned in these three days, make your robots even better and more competitive.